Don paid one forty-seven dollars for his bike after shop, after the shop manager gave him thirty percent discount. What was the original price of the bike? So let's uh, read this and try to understand it. Okay, so Tom is sorry. Don is going and buying a bike, and probably the shopkeeper liked Don and gave him say a thirty percent discount. So let's understand what does 30% discount means. Okay, so 30% discount means you for every hundred dollars he has to pay uh, thirty dollars less. That means so let us make two columns here. Okay, so this is say the original price. Let us write this is the original price and the other price is the discounted price. So as I told you, uh, discount of 30% means for every $100, you're getting $30 off, or you're taking off $30. Means, uh, what does this mean? That means, okay, so let me write this like this, 30, oops, 30% mean 30% discount means uh, $30 off, let me write like this, 30% off, that means you're taking off $30 for every $100. For every, this concept should be clear. If you don't, if you understand this, I think the rest is simple. You have to go through the thinking process. So what does this mean? So if you know this fact, if the original price was say hundred dollars, you're taking thirty dollars off, so the discounted price would be thirty take away, sorry, hundred take away thirty, which is seventy dollars. Is this clear? So if it is hundred cents, that means if it is hundred cents, you have to pay how many cents? For hundred dollars, you have to pay the discounted price would be $70. So same, using the same logic, 100 cents, you have to pay 70 cents. Okay, continuing the argument. So again, I say that means if it was say $1, you have to pay 100 cents is nothing but $1. They are the same. You can say you are paying 0.70 cents or $0.70, sorry. So this is... This is what you have to understand. That means, now the question is, the discounted price, this is what Don has paid. This is not the original price, this is the discounted price. So here we are asking the question, if Don paid $147, how much did he pay? This is what we want to find. This is, this is the reverse process, or it's also called inverse percentage. This is what we want to find. Okay, so let us draw a box there. Okay, so let us now think from year to year. What's happening here? Now, let me use a different color. So now uh, answer me, one times what would give you 0.7? One times what gives you 0.7? So well, that's it, pretty, pretty easy. One times 0.7 or 0.70 would give you 0.7. So from year to year, if you're going this way, you're multiplying. So from year to year, if you want to go backwards, what would you do? You have to do the opposite of times. And what's the opposite of times? You have to divide by 0 0.7 or 70. So this, whatever that number is, the original price that you want to find is 147 divided by 0.7. So let me bring back my blue color. So this original price or that box is nothing but 147 divided by 0 0.7. 0 0.70 and 0 0.7 are the same. Okay, so we can write 0 0.7. Now I want to make, I can't, I don't know how to divide by 0 0.7. So I'm going to multiply this by, I'm going to multiply this by 10. So if you multiply this by 10, you'd also multiply this by 10. So now this question changes to, this is 1,470, 
and divided by 0. Uh, 0 0.7 times 10 is nothing but 7. Now you may wonder how can I do this? So let me explain this separately. Let me draw a line here and let me explain this separately. Now, suppose you want to divide say, let us take an easy number, suppose say 10 divided by 2. We know the answer is 5, but if suppose I increase this, if I increase this by say 4, and I also increase this by 4. So we know this answer is 5. So what happens if I increase this by 4? So this is 40 divided by 8, which is also 5. What if I say divide this by 2? And so I would also divide this by 2. What will happen? So this is 20 divided by 4 which is also 5. So when you're dividing two numbers, you are dividing or multiplying one number, you do the same thing to the other number. Okay, so that's what I did. I want to make this a tidy number. I want to just make a whole number. So I know 0 0.7 times 10 is 7. So I multiply this by 10, you have to do the same thing by uh, 10 here. Yeah. Now this, I don't know how to do this. So I'm going to split this like this. So this is equal to 1400 divided by 7 I know 14 what is 14 divided by 7 oops 14 divided by 7 is so 14 divided by 7 so I'm looking at 14 divided by 7 is 2 and then I have to put two more zeros so 1400 divided by 7 is 200 then I've got to divide 70 so 70 divided by 7 that's pretty easy which is 10 so the answer is 210 now we need to check the answer so the original price we have got is so in other words this the shopkeeper had marked the marked price was 210 and because don was such a uh, wonderful person he got 30 percent off and he could buy it for $147. That's what we have found out. But now we need to check whether this answer uh, is right. So how will we check? We'll go backwards. Okay, so we are saying uh, 210, that's what we got. Take away 30% of 210 should be 147. That's what we have found okay so let's find how will we do this so let us check the answer so 10% of 210 is pretty easy you divide by 10 which is 21 10% is and this is a good exercise as students you should always check your answer this is 21 so what will be 20% so if 10% 10, 10 is uh, 200 and, sorry 10% is 21 20% is 42. So if you know 10% and 20%, you can add them like this. So this is 30% off. You don't add this though. 20% off $210 is, you have to add this too, which is one, sorry, $63. So if you got a discount of $63, so let's do the maths. So 210, take away 60. First, I'll take away 60, which is 150. Then I'll take away 3, which is 147. Lo and behold, we have got the answer exactly right. And so we can give ourselves 5 stars. 5 stars. Okay. So you're a 5 star student if you can figure this out. The next question, I want you to do this yourself. You can pause this video, read the question and try to go through the thinking process. Hopefully you've done it. So <clears throat> let us go over this question. Hine's pocket money was increased by 10%. She now receives 33 per fortnight. How much money was Hene, uh, was Hene was originally receiving? So yeah, let's understand what does 10% means. So here it's an increase. 
So this is the, I'll write the original, I'll write in short, original pocket money, PM for pocket money. Okay, and uh, let me make a column increased, INC increased pocket money. It's always good to understand examples in ratio. If you can make up two tables of two columns, it's always good in maths. Okay, what does this mean? There's an increase of 10%. That means if she was getting $100 previously, if she was getting $100, she would get now $110. If she was getting $200, she would get $220. That means for every $100, she's get, going to get $10 more. So if it is 100, she's getting uh, for $200, she will get again $10 on that. That is 220. Okay, so yeah, or 10% of 200 is uh, 20, and that's why. So if it's 300, you get 330 and so on. So yeah, this means if she was getting, let me use a different color. If she was getting $100 previously, now she's getting 110. Same logic, if she was getting 100 cents previously, she would now get she is now getting the increased amount is 110 cents. And this is same as writing one, if she was getting one dollar, she is now getting one dollar ten. One point one zero. Or you can write one point one. One point one zero is same as one point one. Okay. Now my question our question is now she's getting she now receives thirty-three dollars. So this is what we have. We she has, she's now getting thirty-three dollars. You want to figure out what is, say, let me write a letter P for pocket money. P is what you want to find. So I want to think, one times what? One times what gives you one point one. So well, that's pretty easy. One times one point one gives you one point one. 1 times 1.1 is 1.1. So if you want to go backwards, from year to year you multiply by 1.1 to get to 1.1. So from year to year if you want to go, you do the opposite of what you did this way, which is divide by 1.1. So multiplying by 1.1 and dividing by 1.1 are opposite of each other because you're going in the other direction. So to get to P, P is nothing but 33 divided by 1.1. So I can say P over the original pocket money is 33 divided by 1.1. So as I explained in the previous video, I want to make this a tidy number. Okay, I want to make this a whole number. So, so what should I multiply this number by to get a whole number? Well. 1.1 times 10 gives you 11. So I have to do the same thing here. So this changes to 330. So P is 330. 330. 330 divided by 11. And that is pretty easy. Uh, we know 33 divided by 11 is 3 is equal to 3. So this is nothing but $30. So Hene used to get $33. And what's happening? He, Hene used to get $33. Sorry, $30. And now she's getting $33. Does it make sense? Yes. So so she was getting, she's, she was getting $30. $30 and there was a 10% increase. So plus 10%. And 10% of this is 33, so this is uh, 30 plus 3, which is 33. Okay, now one thing that I'll let me finish like this. If you find 10% of this, what is what students would like to do is they'll find 10, try to find 10% and try to take off 10% to get the original amount. That will not work because 
if you want to if you find 10 percent of 33 if you find 10 percent of 33 what are you getting is 3.3 and if you take away 33 take away 3.3 take away 3.3 obviously you can understand cannot or is not going to be 30 dollars so when you are going backwards this is how you have to go through the thinking process basically you have to divide by a number when it is increasing it will be a number greater than one and when it's a decreased amount it will be a number between zero and one 